Right, welcome. Uh, this is DCS World, and we are flying the B-51 today. Uh, like with all other modules, I'll do a startup run for this one as well. Uh, first things first, let's make sure our throttle is all the way back, uh, as well on the joystick as uh, in the plane itself. Right, let's do the startup for this one. We go to the battery panel and flick the first four switches. The car just become active. We click the circuit breaker once. Then we go over here and put this switch on both. And we open fuel shutoff valve. We also put the fuel boosters on hold on. We hold down the primer for about three seconds. Then we open the starter and hold it down as long as it starts up. And we hit this thing and it will start running. Next, uh, we will make sure our rudder is trimmed to the right about 5 degrees. Uh, this helps with the torque of the engine, so you won't uh, keep turning your plane out autom automatically. You can see the, the meter is set, set on 4 right now, which is good enough. Uh, now we're here and we, we open the carburetor the way to the front and we put our flaps in about 20 degrees which is good enough for takeoff. Uh, I'm gonna keep the canopy open while we taxi. Uh, one thing to note is if you want to take off uh, you need to increase this thing all the way to the front uh, because otherwise you won't be able to take off properly. Another thing to note is that uh, if you use uh, left control or left alt in combination with the uh, brake key, you will be able to steer your plane a lot better on the ground. So I'm gonna go taxi now. in a nice position to take off. Uh, everything is set. The only thing that we still have to do is increase this to the front in order to take off. I'm gonna put it like, I don't know, 4 80% should be fine. Uh, our flaps are set in 20 degrees. Other things are ready. So now we just close the canopy. Take off.
in case you're wondering, the gun switch is located over here. So just turn it on. And there we have. You can also put gyro on if you want it. Uh, it will indicate where your guns are going to hit if you're moving a lot. Like that. Fixed gyro is actually my favorite for now. Let's do a gun run on someone's house just to demonstrate guns. 